When did you first hear about the season two renewal? I found out on, it would have been the, oh, 20, like a week after the show came out. A week after the show came out, I had a screening for my close friends and family for the wilds because we couldn't do a premiere or anything because of COVID. So we did a private screening and it was that night overnight. I must've been sleeping when it was happening in America. Everyone was like, oh, I woke up and everyone was like, yeah, going crazy about season two. And I was like, what? Like waking up hungover, like trying to figure out what was happening. Yeah. <laughs> so now, I mean, not much time has passed since that, but is there any kind of shooting schedule on the table? Do you know when you're gonna have to get back into it? I don't know. They, I, I have no idea. I'm, I, th- I think it's imminent. I think it's around the corner. I think they're trying to, we're gonna like get this done and dusted so that we, everyone can get a season two as soon as possible. Cause I think, yeah, we're all just love everyone's love for this show. So we want to like give them back a season two as soon as possible. So I think everyone's doing the best job they can at making that happen. I like hearing that. Do you know, have you been told anything about the future for Shelby? I know where Ryder wants to see Shelby at the end, at the absolute end of the entire series and where she wants to see Shelby and what she wants to see Shelby doing. So Hmm. I know that that's where she's going, but I have no idea what's going to be happening in season two. I think I would have loved so much um, since the show released is seeing everyone's theories and reading everyone's theories. I'm reading some of these theories and I'm like, oh my God, that's it. You know what I mean? And there's some that I'm like, I didn't even realize were happening. That is so true. And I'm like, a lot of these theories are really spot on. So I, I have one theory. You could just sit there and, and, and react and we'll really read into your reaction right now. <laughs> the anaphylactic shock at the end. I know that they mention that she has food allergies, but I think she did it deliberately. Mm-hmm. Well. <laughs> 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 that were you the happiest person in the world when you read the script for that episode and you were the only one who didn't have to fake vomit yes yeah I was it was a funny day because everyone like in the hair and makeup truck like I just had all my normal makeup which was still like burnt and burned and stuff but they were all like ghostly white like sick makeup and they were all like drinking like it was like miso soup and it wasn't but not as nice as me it was like miso soup and muesli bars and oh, random stuff but I also was a little bit jealous because I was like, God, that kind of looks really fun. I don't know. I, there's something like fun about being able to just be like, Bleh. like so. Just- we play a would you rather game sometimes. And one of my favorite questions is, would you rather have to fake vomit in a scene or fake sneeze in a scene? I think fake vomit would be more hilarious. Like fake sneezing would be like. And I also think you've got, there's so much more room with fake vomit to have fun there. Like you can, there's different sorts of vomit, vomits you can, you can do. <laughs> but it's like sneezing is kind of one dimensional. I don't know. So I'm going to go with vomit. It's difficult to do a convincing fake sneeze, but I guess also if you don't, yeah. if you're not like opposed to vomiting, like some people are just grossed yeah. out by it and will really do it then. Yeah. Well, I guess, yeah. That's another thing about the sneezing thing that's like, gosh, it's this simple action that everyone does, but it can be really easy to be unconvincing. So I'd be kind of scared to do it. I'd be like, there's a lot of pressure on this take, guys. <laughs> Got to sneeze. <laughs> I'll give you one broader season two question before we move into random questions, which is how we end every episode of Ladies Night. Is there any particular quality of Shelby's that you are hoping to explore most in season two? Oh, definitely her sexuality and her relationship with Tony and the relationship that she has with herself and her God and who like her sexuality. I want, I really want to see um, some growth there. I think she's grown so much already. So I don't want to put any pressure, but <laughs> I think there's so much room there. And I'm, I, I'm really want to see her just um, find comfort in herself and just not be afraid to be who she is. Um, that's, I I really want to see that for her just personally. Um, because I love that about her. 